coach the team's remarkably healthy for this point in the season. What We've is there been some, healthy? Is, is there something that you point to and credit that for? Well, this gets back to you know the the dreaded jinx that we had that I kept reading about from you guys with injuries and uh, Bo and his staff the team. Those guys have all done a great job. The strength program um, it's paying dividends. Uh, Sean, I wonder if you could talk about what it's like to have a young up and coming outside linebacker trio with. Cooper, Nick Benito, and uh, Browning, and just how it exciting is that for the future it and, is. For, and for now? Yeah, I, look, it's a hard position to acquire. They cost more in free agency. Um, they're drafted earlier during the draft, and so there's a commodity, there's a value to that position, and, and, and then obviously developing those young players I think uh, is is um, is important, and it's good to see the progress we're making. and And I think that um, you know it's a hard position to find, so it's good to have them. What is the difference between like things that are fixable and maybe things that aren't as fixable that you're trying to get by? I, I think one thing that I've learned, um, and as a young coach, I was poor at this. When when you're just getting started you address everything always. You don't realize that when you're doing that, by addressing everything always, you're not really addressing anything then. In other words, so with wisdom and experience, you learn to, you learn what to ignore and what to clean up and correct so that the points you're making are noticeable. Um, and so the same thing after a game, like, you know, something will happen on a play and the coaches will be talking, well, he's, and they're over on the sidelines. And I said, we're not running that again. Stop. Let's get on to the net. You know, we'll clean that up next week. Now, if there's something that is a staple, you know, a basic, but, but, you know, learning what to ignore, what to correct, and then, and then examining I think as a teacher, we always have to examine the why. You know, did we explain it well enough? Did we cover it well enough? How could we have done a better job ourselves? You know, and so if you hand out a test to your students and two-thirds of them are getting C's and D's, then you have to look at yourself. So when we have a game like last week, it starts with looking inward, like, all right, you know, whether it's the one o'clock start time on the, you know, all of that, you got to, you got to look as to um, if we if we we always say this in the staff meeting. If we played the game again, what are some things we would have done? Different? You know that kind of thing. So you have to look that way as a teacher.